What's up everybody, Jakey Crack Outdoors here, and um, in this video, um, I was lucky enough to have Boxy come down and ride along with us, um, and I also want to apologize. Um, when I'm with other people, I have a hard time videoing, um, you know, I get caught up in the moment and I forget that I even have the GoPro on me, so sorry for the limited footage of that, but um, I'll put a link in the description, you can check out Boxy's video, um, it's a pretty good one, so I'll put a link in the description on that. And um, also in this video, we come to the end of the trap line with me and Ralphie. So um, I'll put a link to his channel in the description. I wish him more luck. Um, I do know that last night he shot his first gray fox uh, hunting. So congratulations, Ralphie. And um, as always, you can check me out on Sunday nights at 8 o'clock on the PA Youth Trapping Contest. Matt Brophy and I, Matt's from Epler Fur. We uh, run a Pennsylvania Youth Trapping Contest. And we do live drawings on Sunday nights at 8 p.m on Facebook. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and uh, stay tuned. Nice deep catch. He ain't going nowhere. Nice deep catch. Wow. What's up, everybody? So here we are, Friday, December 30th, and we're out here on our trail trek, and we got Ralphie, and we also got Boxy Outdoors. Hey, guys. Boxy, what do you think so far? It's a lot different trapping than I got. We got hills <laughs> down here, boys. <laughs> and we also got Ralphie's dad, Bob. So, um, a little disclaimer, we have checked a couple properties already. Um, I have a bad habit of not videoing when I'm with other people. So, All right, guys, so we're out here checking traps and uh, coming to the last set. And uh, as you can see, we got a catch circle here. And Ralphie, you want to explain what happened? This was yesterday, by the way, guys. So yesterday, me and my cousin was walking back here. We got right around the bend. I see the coyote jumping around. And I watched him run down through the woods. It broke the... Right yeah, if you could see guys the bottom swivel fit it pulled the stop off the bottom swivel so but um, you could see my uh, Support still in here. Well, that was actually Ralphie's this was Ralphie's set the sports still under said the dog wasn't here long but um, See he has a catch circle but so We lost one and then Ralphie has another set right here that was Messed with probably by raccoon. We seen some raccoon tracks down here. It look like raccoon a uh, tractor. Yeah, the farmer's been working his field, so we're having issues with that. So uh, that's part of trapping. So, all right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys. So that pretty much does it for us today. Uh, we came out here and uh, Ralphie picked some spots. Did uh, Bob and her uh, Boxy picked some spots? Did uh, Ralphie and Bob set so. See how they play out. You can continue to watch them, I guess, on Boxy's channel or trapping with Ralphie. But um, I want to thank Boxy for coming along. Hey, thanks for having me. And Bob. Thanks. And Landon, as always. Landon, you got anything to say? Come on. Uh, hopefully we catch something in the next couple of days we got left with Jake. Yeah, we're running We're running low. Uh, we only got till Monday. Today's Friday. So, all right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so here we are, uh, New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's, everybody. We're out here checking on uh, first spot. Blanked here. We're we'll going to move along and check the next spot. You know, we're actually going to pull a spot today. And uh, tomorrow will be our last day. So uh, it was going to be Monday, but something come up for me. So I'm going to have to cut it short, and we're going to have to end tomorrow being Ralphie's line. But... I'm going to continue running on some of my properties here for a couple more days and then I'll be making another move. So, but that's just to update what's going on. Ralphie, you want to tell them what happened last night? Uh, I went coyote hunting and called my first coyote in. Just couldn't get a shot at it, but I guess yeah. it's for the hunting. Yeah, Ralphie's, Ralphie's out coyote hunting all night and then he doesn't get up in the morning for trapping. So. <laughs> All right, guys, stay tuned. Hopefully you have something on the next part, next place. What's up, everybody? Happy New Year. So let me show you how my New Year's starting out. First of all, Ralphie slept in. It's a pole day of his trap, so I brought the puller back here today to his trap. I go to pull it. Of 
course, the, uh, the swivel pulled out, the J-hook pulled out, it was stuck. And then I come to realize it's one of my traps. So th three strikes today already. So Ralphie sleeping in, carried a puller for nothing and pulled a trap I didn't have to pull. So not a good start to the new year. Happy new year, everybody. I think Ralphie's up. So I'm gonna pick him up after I check this spot and then uh, move along. We're gonna pull some, uh, some line today and then uh, not sure about tomorrow, but I'll be adding some couple traps here and there so this week. So things are gonna keep moving along. Just Ralphie's gonna go back to school. So all right. Hopefully we get back to you with something bouncing around on this uh muddy New Year's Day. So stay tuned. <coughs> all right, guys, all for nothing. Uh we did get a rat today. Um in a droner set. So um we do gotta catch. So, all right, let me uh, check the backside, go get up Ralphie, and uh, move along. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so that about does it for today. Um, we checked all the traps we uh, pulled. Ralphie's going to keep some things going on his side, and I'm going to keep some things going on my side. So we're both going to continue to trap. It's just that uh, checking is not good. We're not going to be checking together anymore. So I'll keep you updated with what's going on. Ralphie, Ralphie, you going to post any videos? Yeah, I'll try to get a couple up. He's uh, he also likes to sleep in because he likes to go out and predator hunt all night. So hopefully we can see some of those videos too. So, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed this content and like I said, stay tuned. I'm gonna run this my little line here for probably another week or so, and then I'm gonna be making another move. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, everybody. What's up, everybody? So here we are. I have checking traps and uh just started i have two traps i checked down there and i could see some cables nothing in them but i really checked them on the way out but i could see them on the way in but um it's thinking this is some crazy weather uh it's nine o'clock in the morning right now it's december 2nd or 3rd and it's uh 64 degrees uh, the record high for today is 65 so we're we're pretty much there already and it's only nine o'clock in the morning so but it's pretty wild to think a week ago we had single digits wind chills in the 20 and 30 belows um low temperatures well below zero so i mean pretty crazy but uh traps have went through all of that um pulling them the other day they were going good they're gonna get nice and wet today but uh, we don't have a cold iron coming, so I'm really not worried about them freezing. So I'm just letting them run because as it looks, I'll be pulling these before uh, it gets to the point where I got to worry about uh, freeze ups. But walking up on the first two cables. We got one right here. I don't know if we got one out here around the corner. Um, what hurts us on this trail is it's really wet now. When we set this, it was frozen. But as you can see, it's just muddy. And uh, actually flooded over here. It's up to, almost up to my knees. So, I really... not sure if the coyotes are going to come through this anymore. Uh, we missed a lot of trails with our cables because when we set them, it was frozen snow and then the thaw came and then we could actually see we were like a foot off a lot of times but we had we sat on the snow sign when the actual sign when the snow's gone was a foot to the left or something so we noticed we missed that a lot uh i'll try to show you that i'll show you that over here on one of these sets but um just going along seeing what's going on we did put some sets out yesterday so all right stay tuned all right guys so this is what i was talking about here um you know when we set this there's a cable right there that might still work but i mean you can see this is all flooded and we got cables all through it so um that's what happens when the weather changes like it did 
more of the same i mean this is a one cable but there's a there's multiple down through here and as you can see it's just it's just flooded i mean this one here if they can get here they might walk through this because it's not that flooded but i mean i'm not gonna pull them because they're better off staying here than in my truck because i'm not setting them anywhere else so and this ain't that bad of a walk to come in this way i still got to check the beaver trap so all right stay tuned all right guys i wanted to show you this is the one i was talking about here so as you can see the trail actually goes right there and we got our cable right here now i put some blocking in there to try to scatter but you know when we set this there was tracks right here because of the snow but you can see they tend to travel this when there's not snow so um we noticed that multiple locations this is just the one i happen to walk by right now so what's up everybody so I figure i keep you updated what's going on with the beaver action well the beaver action is, is the crick's up about two foot so all my sets are under two foot of water so i went from frozen to uh flooded which i knew was going to happen so but this creek does react fast so possibly tomorrow not tomorrow the next day it'll probably be close to being a normal run and we'll we'll get everything going again so but just walked that side that side's still underwater one cable was knocked on um back here nothing walking out the beaver sets now but like i said um they're they're flooded up. all right guys so it's been a slow couple days here um but i have been putting out a couple sets here and there uh i just drew one in right here but as you can see i'm on the main road it comes up here to the back fields it actually dead ends right there so we got a farm two track right here and we got a set right off the road um i actually got another one down a couple crop changes and then i got my pipe dream set so i actually got three between here and the bottom here so I'm trying to figure them out i know they're coming through here uh without the snow i'm losing my sign but the snow showed me they came through here more than more than I thought, and uh, I just I'm not picking them up, so I'm missing them. So got about another week, so I'm just throwing sets out, hoping something connects. You know what I mean? Future future reference or something. I'm stumped on this place. All right, I still got to check down below, but about does it for up top here. It's a beautiful day. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, so we got us a catch. Not what we're really targeting, but um, nonetheless, we got a raccoon. Got him on the back foot. Um, he made a mess of the set, but that's only going to make it better. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know why he didn't hit that DP or that DP. I got two DPs right here, but he decided he wanted to mess up the dirt hole set, but... I've been saying I ain't catching raccoons, so I'm not going to complain. Um, you know, uh, it's a catch. It's been pretty slow, so. All right, guys, so there's my re remake. Um, I actually like it now. Um, I got a deep hole in there. As far as what I'm running for bait, I really don't know what I'm running for bait. I know I'm running R&R &R Critter Getter, R&R &R Trading Post Critter Getter in there. Uh, sawmill bait and lures uh, ruby red and some uh, fox yarn on it but um, I have uh, so many old baits that I have no idea what they are and um, I'm just trying to use them up so that's what I got in there and then I figured I'd have R&R &R, so. but if I had to guess I think that's Trapper Paul's one of Trapper Paul's baits it's a mouse bait I remember that so alright there goes that guy go down here uh we still got to check some sets down below here that's where i got my bobcat set so fingers crossed on that running out of time on everything but especially that so all right stay tuned all right guys so i forgot to show you this yesterday i didn't show you this yesterday but um 
I had a muskrat in there and something come in and stole my muskrat out of my cubby set here. But um, our bobcat season closed, closed yesterday, so there's no sense in me running this to try to catch a bobcat. So I'm gonna knock this cubby down. I'm gonna pull my flagging down. And uh, we're just gonna let this run out as a uh, dirt hole set. We'll probably just leave one of them logs in there as backing. So um, this is all set up on a drag. So I'll show you what I got once I get it built up and stay tuned. All right, guys, so here we go on that. I really don't love it, but um, we're gonna go with it. I think a coyote will come into it and commit to it. Um, the hole is just too big and there ain't no dirt to cover it. So I tried to crisscross those logs over top of it. My trap's bedded a little further back than I really would like to be. Trap's bedded right there, hole's right there. I sort of got some fencing in there. The blog will come from behind. really never had much luck down here on this bottom trail. I did catch a fox right there, I, I should say that, but I've caught a lot of raccoon here, but this year, not so much, so. All right, that's the bottom of the hill. Let me get up on top and hopefully we got something bouncing around.